Mm-hmm. Game of Thrones time. Let's go. Pause that. Welcome back, guys. It's time for a Game of Thrones reaction. You're here. It's time to watch something rated JG with me, John G. We've got another Inside Game of Thrones behind the scenes. This one's one I'm excited for, a story in cinema work. Um, I'm actually looking into film, doing a little bit of cinematography myself. So let's see what these guys do. One of the biggest shows ever on television, the biggest show HBO has ever done. And we're going to get into it. Let's go. Best part of being a camera operator on Game of Thrones is the privilege of making a story with the camera in front of some of the best. Look at that, young John, that pretty boy John Snow. Words Season one. For a long time. Inside Game of Thrones, a story in camera work. My name's Sean Savage. Son Savage. Game of Thrones. I started on Game of Thrones 2010. One of the first things I operated on on Game of Thrones was some of the uh, Night's Watch leaving the tunnel to go north beyond the wall. I've contributed to every episode since then. Boom! No bombs on them. Uh, the Dragon Unit have had the privilege of shooting scenes like Battle of Blackwater Bay, The Red Wedding, Hard Home, which is extraordinary, an amazing sequence, followed by Bob, and then followed last year by The Ice Lake. I think by the end it'll be close on 73 episodes. Some of the challenges that the directors have thrown at us with their ideas, huge moves amongst ships and castle walls and visual effects requirements, those technically have challenged us to our sort of limit, I'd say. The Battle of the Bastards. I think if you ask me what my favorite scene over those eight years was, ah! it's when Jon Snow is forced to the ground and then trampled. And this seemingly Did you guys think John was gonna die here? Looks like he's close to the end. I didn't. Something that made I didn't for a second. To put into the show. It wasn't entirely scripted like that. Kit went to ground. I stood over him, and these stunt guys piled in, and we had a sort of safe word where we could call it off at any point. We had to see that the light closed up, so on Kit's face, and at that point, I just urged Kit to get off the ground and stand up again. And I think you can see that it's, it is a true struggle. Um, Bob was by far the biggest challenge. The scale of it, the organization, and the ambition that Miguel had. The attrition of going into that situation every day, solidly for 23 days, was a huge challenge. And the, and the landscape it's set in has really thrown it at us. We've abandoned sets because of floods, rock falls, snowstorms, wind. Ooh. It's cold Christmas over there. Crop up. <laughs> Not knowing that I do end up doing eight years on the biggest show in the world, Game of Thrones has been absolutely fantastic because it was the right time, right place. My level of experience at the time was suited, I think, to the show. I put the right team around me on the Dragon Unit. Um, so for me, it's been very lucky in certain ways, but, you know, it's, I think, meant to be to a degree, I feel sometimes, and I've loved it. I think it's, it'll be a legacy of mine, which, you know, I'll carry forever. Nice. Nice. Definitely will, my man. Sean Savage definitely will. Perfect. So, yeah, just a breakdown of just some of the biggest scenes that they ever done on Thrones and Sean Savage's work. It looks like they primarily focused on his uh, cinematography. And I mean, why not? I mean, this guy did some of the biggest roles in Game of Thrones from Battle of the Bastards to Hard Hone. So, I mean, he he definitely has the merits now to go and do whatever he wants. And like he said, it's just a badge for him. And it's... It's a once-in-a-lifetime type of opportunity for him to do Game of Thrones. Speaking of once-in-a-lifetime opportunities, you guys have the best opportunity right now to subscribe to me, John G. Hit that bell. Hit the sub. Show me some love. You're going to see these reactions every day, all right? 
All right, do it, man. There's no reason not to. Take care, guys.